Ursiel versus Ant, common uh, villager player. Uh, he's the biggest one I know of in SoCal, for sure. All right, so Villager's uh, character, well, I, when the first game started out, everyone was saying, wow, Isabel's so much better than Villager. And then when everyone realized how important the tree was in the Lloyd, then people sure. started to uh, sway this way from that. Yeah, bridge. I think the Lloyd's presence and the fact that it moves rather than Isabel's, because Isabel's, is, you can actually just run up to the Lloyd when she puts it into the ground and just shield, and yeah. that'll activate it. And you can also, you can hit it away, especially if you're a dark character, but these bears already 26% with the sure. oh And the fourth smash, let's see if he goes for another one. Right. Yep, nice. Oh, yep. He Was could have tried to go over it or under it. Either way, he would have gotten hit in the head yeah. by that bowling ball. Hits him with a zero to death in like 15 seconds, so good. Yeah. The Gunner's uh, disadvantage is quite, uh, right. quite really bad to deal with. And that pocketed 38% damage, my goodness. Wait, what did he pocket, the charge shot? He pocketed, no, his neutral beam was the grenade shot. Oh, the grenade. Uh -huh. It does quite a lot of damage, but me, Gunner, he needs to find some way in for Ursio. Right. I mean, me, Gunner, being a projectile character, I can't see this as a great matchup, especially how deep off stage Villager can go. Um, uh, if you might not have seen in the first stock, uh, Versio did immediately use his double jump and he got stuffed out by the Ferris, which is a little unwise. So. And especially that F smash is going to command so much respect. Definitely. That's going to be a key matchup. And there. great job using the Fair. There's going to be a stock number two and on a roll right now. Yeah, Fair and Nair, definitely great gimping tools. And against someone with a recovery like uh, Meat Gunner, it's going to work really well in this matchup. Meat Gunner's recovery is so linear. Jab and block into jab F tilt. Block. Nice. Yeah, it's a really well choreographed right now. And the up tilt gets carried out, but no punish. Manages to pocket another grenade, and we'll see how he uses it. He's gonna go ahead and use the Lloyd to cover his recovery. Actually, he tries to run away, but successfully gets out. Meat Gunner already in a horrible disadvantage right now. He's trying to find some way in. Well, he's got him at the corner now. He's just got to start setting up his uh, ledge traps. That's the thing. The, the down, I, I believe it's either the neutral B or down B, right? His grenades are really good at the ledge because they're they're an active hitbox that lasts for quite a while. His down special is what rolls on the floor. It's really good. You can actually detonate it yourself. But right now, it's the fact that Ant's setting up this wall of projectiles using his fair. It's so well done, and it just seems that first still seems so shook by the first one, two stocks. He's not able to find his way in. Exactly. I'm a little bit uh, surprised that, I don't know if he was going against Villager, but he didn't choose the Reflector as his down special. So. No. That could, I mean, like you said, it's a trade-off. You don't have a Reflector, but you get a ledge trap. Right. Also, then what's his neutral B? The side B is the missiles, the down B is the grenade. What's his, oh. his neutral B is that grenade oh, shot. Oh, that grenade shot, okay. I see, I see. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage. You can actually drift with it. So that's why a lot of me guys have been taking it over the charge shot. It doesn't do as much. It's like a food like Samus. Right. But right now, he's doing a really good job. Villager, he's charging it. Oh my god. It actually bounced off the shield and extended its hitbox because of it. So exactly. he's been able to get away with it. And remember, uh, Bowling Bolt is safe on shield, so it doesn't really matter. Right. It a lot of shields done. Can't do a whole lot out of that. So, Versiel, again, kind of struggling to find stage control. Gets the Nair into the grenade. A little custom combo coming in. Does use the grenade to get away from the right. Lloyd. Up tilt, try to go for the read, but the back row. Gonna force him off stage once more. Force in a really uncomfortable position. We talked about Beak Gunner. One of his best arrows is his Nair. It's so good. Definitely. Good spacing tool. Hard to punish. Low end lag. Really well done. They're gonna try to find some way. And I like how Ant's playing. He's playing really patient, knowing that he has the advantage. No reason to go aggressive. And hits him with the up tilt. That's gonna kill. Yeah, very so. good for catching neutral get up and roll get up a light because it's so active for, for multiple frames. It's got multiple hits to it. And Ant, that first stock was crazy, first of all. Oh, definitely. Like, that was yep. crazy. The fair is off stage to the double bowling ball. <laughs> I mean, you really don't expect that. And Me Gunner is a character that you don't see a lot. That's like one of the things. Right. But he was unable to find his way in. His projectiles got completely snuffed out by that pocket. So it's going to be a really big issue. So hopefully, Mercil's got a different answer. Poland turns of characters. He's sticking to it. So hopefully, we'll see if Mercil can adapt to Ant in the second game, taking him to Battlefield. Maybe uh, to help him get those up B set up, or uh, up air setups and the uh, grenades on the platforms, possibly. Because that projectile did 18 percent, and they're really strong. Oh, he definitely. Needs to find some way to set up camp. But very interestingly enough, oh, great read on that roll. Hits him with the pivot grab, so the net gonna catch him up. And remember, villager's there is so good; it's easily auto cancelable. And the fact right. is, is that villager. Well, here he is with the fares again. Oh he does. He gets the sweet spot. Deep off stage, and he'll take Versio's stock very early. And Villager is crazy, like you said. I'm taking oh, yeah. the word that he's one of the best villagers around here. He definitely is, and he's got that air mobility to just um, 
string to make these strings deep off stage. And he's abusing that pocket so hard right now. He's able right. to throw it, does hit him up with the B reversal as well. And he's hitting him with the taunt burst seal, interestingly enough. But it's the fact that I feel that burst seal cannot play the game at his own pace at all. It seems that all Ant is doing is controlling the game where he wants to do and making burst seal force into these really bad options, trying to go for these hard reads. Right. I, I think um, burst seal is going to have to play a little bit pa more patient compared to last game. Because last game lasted, what, about 90 seconds? Mm -hmm. And I think the part of the patience includes when go. he's in disadvantage, because characters like that, like Pikachu and Villager, who can just string people off stage, you have to be very uh, cognizant about the resources you have to recover and just not immediately use them. Yeah, like flash. some people when they panic. Yeah, flashback to when Esim hit that virtual. Oh, all the, way uh, the, the, the Simon, uh -huh. just like quadruple back air. Yeah, again, if he either just di'd away on the back airs appropriately, or focused on the timing of the tether, the air dodge, the jump, any one of those, um, he definitely could have made it back. Yeah, but there are a lot of mistakes that just added up to that clip. For sure. Uh, but here we go, and gonna go force him off stage. That tree is in a position where he's able to contest it. Try to bait out the roll with the tree. That was like, a very smart setup. I like that mind game in his pocket. His usage of it is so strong. It's it's not. Versil doesn't really care about the pocket, does he? He's no. Just th constantly throwing out projectiles. No. Usually when you're playing a projectile character against Villager, um, at least what um, I try to do, and some others might, um, is you want to use the least threatening of the projectiles um, until he pockets it. Which so, for example, if you're um, if you're Richter, uh -huh. you will want to make sure that he pockets the uh -oh. cross instead of um, yeah. axe or holy water. Um, but if the villager is aware of that, then of course he can wait to pocket the right item. But um, it seems like Ant's pocketing whatever he can get, which is it doesn't um, really matter to him because he's still no. getting so much. They're, they're all about equally as threatening, honestly. And Let's see if he can gimp him with the tree. And he does. <laughs> he can't tech that. You That's a tree. Yeah, he can't <laughs> tech that. Gets him up with the timber. So he's going to get favorite for it. So Versail, like you said, it seems like he's trying to rush down the villager, which doesn't seem to be working because, like you said right. earlier. He's, he's got a forward air, the same yeah, range of villager. He did use his jump. He yeah. did use his jump, but he has very good vertical recovery on that up B. And villager was, I think he tried to use the nair to connect, you know, and stuff on the recovery, right. but unable to find it. So right now, and. He's calling out every single projectile Versil is making. Definitely. He's calling out the projectiles. He's calling out his recovery options as well. And so he's able to get a lot of these early kills and just dominate neutral as well. And right now, coast to coast, and he forced a really bad situation. 81% already on Versil. He forces out the air dodge, but no follow up. I think that uh, Versil is going to have to find an answer to Ant's aggressive response when he's in the corner because he's getting out of the corner really fast. And forced in a bad situation. And what's There's the bowling ball again. Straight to the skull, so yeah. Ant. Ant will, def will take that 2-0. I don't think that was a sweet spot on the up B. Was it? Um, I feel no. like he could have maybe avoided that if he snapped to legend time. I think he started panicking, especially when that bowling ball is going to come regardless. I think it could have cut right. him off. Maybe if he like skimmed the edge. Right. He might have seen him start. charge it and just wanted to up B as soon as possible, so he kind of missed the ledge. But my goodness, Ant really controlled that match so well. He was able to take that match in his own pace. And we saw Versil try to change it by 